So I uh, last season hunted with a 19 pound rifle. Carrying that up a mountain and hiking with it, it's a huge pain and your legs start to ache and your blood starts to just go and uh, you start to get a lot more shaky. So if you need to make a quick shot, it's very hard. Even if you're comfortable and you're settled and you feel solid, breaking that trigger pull on something that is heavy to carry around and heavy recoiling and just a pain to use, it makes you want to flinch more. It makes you want to have a big wobble zone. It makes you breathe harder, right? Like it just, it makes it a much harder shot to make and it, do, it reduces the chance of an actual ethical kill on that animal. My father and I used to hunt, you know, for Roosevelt elk and they get into the thickest stuff. It, it literally is like walking through the jungle and I was hunting kind of a standard, you know, wood stocked rifle. You know, it was just, it was catching on everything when having something that it was a lot more compact the ability to fold it up the weight of it would really change that experience in normal situations i'd like to be hiking up into the alpine where you do get longer shots and obviously you're traveling a lot further so the lighter your gear the less miserable you are i mean as you can tell around here getting the bush it's pretty dense and you're like walking around you got to the rifle that snags on stuff. You're just trying to be quiet, making making your way through the bush, and it's just snagging on everything and cracking, you know, cracking branches and this and that. And you kind of feel a little, well, like you're making a ton of racket because you probably are. MDT has been producing chassis since 2009, predominantly been for the sports, law enforcement, and military markets. However, we did see early on that our products were also used for hunting. You know, our LSS chassis was the first chassis that we had that people were, hey, I'm taking this hunting. And from there we knew that at some point we wanted to get into hunting, which is why we designed the HNT 26. The initial approach was, hey, we're going to do something a little bit different than what we typically do. It's just a completely different beast. My new favorite chassis, I love that rifle. It's a one of a kind chassis right now, for sure. As we were going through the process and learning, we felt there wasn't a good hunting chassis on the market. Um, and we generally just, just learned everything about hunting specifically. We relied heavily on our um, sponsored shooter team that have a lot of experience in the hunting world and also just different types of market research. So I was given uh, the design brief for the project. One of the main criteria from the design brief was achieving a very low weight goal. Through many, many revisions, uh, one of the main materials we landed on was use, utilizing carbon fiber. Doing things with carbon fiber that are very innovative and haven't, we haven't seen on other firearms. If we look at the forend, we have an enclosed carbon fiber forend, and this enclosure adds a ton of strength to the carbon fiber. We also use carbon fiber because it's warm to the touch. For our buttstock, we have a foam-filled carbon fiber buttstock. The foam fill is doing two things. The first is it's deadening the sound. The second thing it does is it also helps reduce the felt recoil. I was one of the first people to shoot the initial prototype. It was not at all as expecting. The recoil impulse was very mild. We were able to stay in the scope and actually watch the bullet and watch the impact. In hunting, just like in shooting matches, like managing recoil is, is huge. I mean, you want to be able to like break that shot and see where that round went, you know? It was crucial that we had really rigid solutions. One of the structural tests we did was a flex test. At the very front tip of the forend, we applied hundreds of tons of pressure, bending it down a quarter of an inch, half an inch, one inch, two inches. We got incredible results. The properties of the carbon fiber, the forend would flex, but then it would spring back right to its original state with no permanent deformation, and those connections are as rigid as ever. For a few of our products, we've had this uh, very scientific test of running our products over with the MDT truck. It did pretty, pretty great. For a traditional stock, for a wood stock, fiberglass stock, anything like that, not having the cheek riser adjustability is a huge pain. And then also just not being able to attach to a tripod, run any tall bipods, um, just having the limited feature set and not having that ability to attach different accessories that you want onto it is a huge annoyance for me. I set up my tripod, put my binos on my tripod and you're scanning with that and if I find anything, boom, lays it. And then off come the binos, the rifle goes on the tripod and you're in business. Where the balance point is on the rifle is 
100 percent perfect you're not going to get that with a standard stock rifle you know ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain and i'll hunt with until i can no longer hunt it's gonna be kick ass man <laughs> i think MDE actually hit it out of the park with this it's gonna be a hell of a fun gun <laughs> hopefully get a bunch of bunch of meat for the freezer too <laughs>